All right, the second bone of the forearm is the ulna. Okay, we can always remember that because it has this hook shape. Um, and if you've already learned the names of the fossa, it becomes very easy to talk about the majority of the features of the ulna, okay? So we think about it in relationship to the other bones that articulate with it at the elbow. So remember, this was the trochlea right here. This was the uh, coronoid process, or excuse me, the coronoid fossa. And this was the alacronon fossa, all right? So when we talk about the shape here, uh, and the particular features, we talk about this being the alacronon or the alacronon process. Well, that's where what actually hooks in on the back side of the elbow uh, into the alacronon fossa of the humerus. So alacronon process. Then we have the trochlear notch, this big indention right here that makes kind of a C shape. Well, it hooks around the trochlea. We can hook it in right there to form the elbow. And then we have the coronoid process. Well, we had the coronoid fossa right here. So when they hook in together, let's look at it this way. Okay, you can see that it, that it hooks right into the coronoid fossa. All right, and then we also have what we call um, the radial notch. So it sits right here where the radius would articulate. So we have the, the top, the alacronon process, the trochlear notch, the coracoid process, and then right here we have the radial notch, and then on, uh, excuse me, that's the coronoid process, right here, misspoke. And then uh, lastly, we have the stylus, or the styloid process. And remember that, just like the other styloid processes we've talked about, is a very small pen or pencil-like shape, so think of like a stylus.